ever wondered how painters' mediums can actually help your acrylic painting? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide as to what the main painters' medium can actually do in making you a better artist. Coming up. Hi again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And if you are new to this channel, then this is all about giving beginner artists some top tips on how to make you an even better artist. So do hit that subscription button guys because we upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday so that you know that you're not gonna be missing out on any top tips. Today's video is all about mediums. We're gonna go through the five most important artist mediums that you can be adding to your acrylic paints and you're gonna see exactly why they are so essential to help improve your painting. So the first one we're gonna look at today is gesso. Gesso is probably the first medium you're gonna start exploring with because it's essential when it comes to doing any acrylic painting onto canvas. So what you're gonna use gesso for is basically to paint the background of your canvas straight away. Even if you're buying a pre-primed canvas, you still wanna actually be priming it up yourself. These things have got a slight hint of grit in them, so they enable you to really have that acrylic paint stick to your canvas so that you don't end up losing all that paint. Often what happens if you haven't got a pre-primed canvas or if you haven't put gesso onto it, all your paint gets absorbed into the canvas itself and it can make techniques a lot more difficult, particularly if you're doing things like blending. I'm a big fan of actually working onto wet primer or wet gesso so that when you put that uh, acrylic paint initially onto there, it's gonna be an awful lot easier to blend. As with all of these mediums, guys, there is always an alternative. You can make your homemade versions to most of these. So certainly for gesso, I've made up my own ingredients. So I'll leave a link in the video just below so that you can see how to make gesso yourself and just basic ingredients that you'll have at home so that you don't have to start investing a lot of money in the first instance. The second medium we're gonna look at today is polymer gloss medium varnish. This is where you get a really high quality finish to your acrylic paint. One of the biggest criticisms people have of using acrylic, particularly against things like oil, is that they do dry matte. So if you wanna keep that lovely high gloss so you get that beautiful sheen, you wanna be adding something like this to your acrylic paint. Likewise, you also get a gel medium gloss. This is slightly different because whereas the varnish will actually leave a more matted finish, even though it is glossy, this is gonna give a really high gloss effect. So if you're going for something almost stylized or if you really wanna get a very shiny element, let's say you're looking for some fine detail that you want to have standing off the page, then this is the gel you want to be adding to your acrylic paint to really make that shine. The next gel we're gonna look at today, guys, is impasto gel. Impasto gel is essential if you want to do some really thick, gorgeous paint, particularly if you're doing things like impressionist paintings or if you want to have your painting stick off the page. Again, it's something that acrylic paints are not particularly good at because they're a little bit uh, more lucid than an oil paint which can stand off the, the canvas. So if you're using impasto gel, it really helps to thicken the acrylic. It gives you a lot more control, particularly if you're using things like palette knives. Again, this is one that you can definitely make at home. So I'll leave the video link just below where I show you how you can make this stuff basically using some PVA glue and talcum powder. The final medium I want to introduce you guys to is the slow dry medium. This is essential if you're doing things like the one stroke technique. This basically stops acrylic paint from drying so quickly. Again, it's another complaint if you're used to using a lot of oil paint. When you use acrylic paint, they will dry out pretty quickly because of course you haven't got that oily substance to the paint. They are water-based paints. So if you use something like this, it really does slow that process down. Ultimately, in basic speak, it makes actually dragging acrylic paint an awful lot easier. So you can distribute it across the page much more quickly. So again, if you find that you're trying to blend, or you're trying to do techniques with lines where you just get that crusty edge where your paint basically dries, this is the kind of medium you want to be using because it's really going to, to elongate the use of your paint. So there you have it guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video and seen how important it is when you actually use some of these mediums. As a beginner artist, of course, you just wanna start exploring at the beginning. You can buy packs like this. 
You can buy packs like this in your local art shop where you get little samples so you can really start to explore with these different mediums to see what they actually do to your painting. A lot of the results I think you're going to be pretty astonished by, but they are expensive. So again, when you're starting out, I recommend strongly that you try and make your own where possible. And again, those links are just below if you want to see the two main mediums that I've actually shown how to make just using basic household ingredients. If you have enjoyed today's video, guys, and do hit that subscription button and like button just below, as the likes really do help our channel. And of course, if you want to see more weekly top tips just like this, we do upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So as well as that subscription button, you might want to hit that notification bell so that you know when we're coming back online. Alrighty, guys, we'll see you next time. Happy painting.